Hello and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to take a look at Buzzwall in the Jungle Cup. This Pokemon, if you have it, is insane. So please try to use it. Why is it so good? Because there are a lot of Pokemon that are going to be weak to counter. But we don't really see a lot of fighting types around. We only really see like the Vigoroth around. And the Vigoroth itself is very weak to counter as well. Plus also, we're going to be able to resist counter on our Buzzwall, which is going to help with those matchups against the Vigoroth. So this is basically one of the best answers for this, but not only this, there are quite a lot of Pokemon that um, are going to get destroyed by a two shield power up punch Buzzwall. The only issue for basically Buzzwall are going to be flying type Pokemon being double super effective against you going to be a little bit tricky, especially Pokemon like the Talonflame are very tricky for you to deal with. Here we're going to have a Mantine against us which is great that you're going to get this out of the way because we don't want to battle against this Pokemon with our Buzzwall. We can even go for another Rock side here which is going to be amazing for us. We can get the knockout and so no flying type is going to be gone. They're going to go into their Vigoroth. I can go into my Buzzwall and they decide to forfeit. This team was a lot of fun to play. It was so good to play in general. Here we're going to see the Altaria in the lead. The thing is as well, um, if you get some damage onto the Altaria, you could even arc or swapping out eventually, just in case you have another flying type there. But they decided to use a shield here, so that's going to be a little bit tricky. I decided to let this move go through. It's going to be the Moonblast. Still going to do a ton of damage, but sadly you're going to get the attack drop. So I'm going to be forced to swap into my Vigoroth, which can still reach a Rock Slide in time. I am happy with that, actually, because this is going to be able to connect. Now they're going to be encountered downrange for either of my Pokemon or even spark downrange for our Lantern. And so we're going to align ourselves perfectly. They swap into their own Vigoroth. Can I still reach a move? I can still reach our Body Slam. And with this, we're going to get some damage onto them as well. As they're going to let this move go through, we can counter them down with my Buzzwool. I decided to use a shield. Buzzwool is pretty squishy in the Great League, you have to say. You can also use the Heracross instead, but Buzzwool has the advantage of having Power Up Punch and Lunch, which is going to be a little bit better than the Charge Move set of the Heracross. Heracross, but Heracross is basically a cheap variant of the Buzzwall. Here we're going to see in the back the Steelix, and we can just knock them out here as the opponent decides to forfeit anyway. Next opponent, great lead for us. They swap out into the Sableye, allowing me to basically go for a Surf and then swap out afterwards. You could decide to go into your Buzzwall here as well if you wanted to. Um, I decided to still go into my Vigoroth because it's a little bit of a safer play in my opinion. Buzzwall would be able to resist the foul play, but here we're going to be able to resist the fast move of the opponent, which is going to be a little bit better in my opinion at least here. As we can try to reach for one on Rock Slide, we can even take another charge move from the opponent afterwards. We just want to realign because if we don't get the real alignment here we want to be in a tough spot so i decided to go for the body slam here it's going to be a cmp tie so because they could maybe realign if i don't use a shield i may be sure went for a shield here but we are actually still so with more than i expected and so we can go for the body slam knock them out they're most likely going to go into their final pokemon actually which is going to be that runa regus and this pokemon can be a little bit scary for this team runa regus palo sand all those pokemon are a little bit tricky for this team to deal with because we have to counter users and we're going to have a lantern so basically those are the only hard answers to us they decide to go for the shadow ball which is not going to be enough to knock me out i hope they can get a shield here but i doubt it to be fair and we don't so we are forced to swap out now we have to hope that we can still win with our lantern but it's not really looking too great for us as a rock tomb going to drop our um, attack here as well which is going to be tricky i can go for a charge move this um, would knock them out of course but they decide to use a shield no matter what and so we're gonna get lower and lower i'm forced to use a shield here as of course the charge moves of the skarmory are not going to be as dramatic as basically what they're gonna go for here i'm forced to go for a thunderbolt eventually at least they're gonna go for their charge move here as well and i think actually a brave put knocks us out from this range and it does and so we're sadly going to lose this battle and we can move on to the next opponent Another great lead for us as I swap out into the Whiskash. I decided to go into my Vigoroth. I should have swapped out earlier, most likely into my Buzzwool. Buzzwool can resist the ground type damage from the opponent, plus going for a lunge, which would guarantee the drop of the opponent's attack stat. But I decided to go into my Vigoroth here. It is not a wrong play either, but it's going to be a little bit more dicey to win this game now. They decided to go for another Scald, which is going to knock me out. And so I'm going to be forced to go into my Buzzwall at this point. And I just kind of have to hope... Oh, never mind. Actually go into my Lantern. That's kind of wild. But I can still at least go ahead and go for a Surf. This would knock them out from this range. They just, oh, it doesn't knock them out. And they're going to get to another Charge move. Like, I don't know how we're supposed to still win this battle here, to be fair. But maybe we still have a chance here if the opponent has something in the back that we can still deal with. It is going to be the... Um, lantern here as well but with a water gun which would have been great if we didn't get the debuff here 
But I should have most likely swapped out already earlier into my boss wolf, but it is what it is. Yeah, definitely was a mistake by me to stay in and go for a thunderbolt instead of swapping out and keeping the energy as I was debuffed from the skull that went through. But at least we can still try to maybe realign here because he does so much damage now with our counter. The opponent is going to be forced to go for a charge move now, but I decide to use a shield here and I think this was a mistake. I should have most likely decided to not do this, but I can still go for another charge move here. Maybe there's still some play. We have to see. The opponent is going to decide to go ahead ahead and let it shield this move up. We can see that they're going to go for another charge move. Skytech going to knock us out this time around because I didn't want to go shields down. And they can swap out already into their own lantern. And you have to do a call. I have to hope that this is going to be a serve. It was not and so sadly I'm going to lose this battle. This was definitely winnable if I played a little bit better. A lantern versus lantern. You kind of want to swap out eventually here because they could have something in the bag for you, but they decided to swap out for us, which is going to be great because now we can go for power punch. And I think after a power punch, we're going to be able to just align ourselves no matter what. And I actually decided to go for the lunch because I think power punch maybe would have not put them into range. We would be able to knock them out in time, but like this, we can definitely realign, which is going to be great. We can still reach another lunch, even if they're going to go back into their lantern, which they're going to do here. And so we're going to do either a ton of damage or we drop their attack and both of which is going to be fine. We're going to do both basically, which is going to be great. They can go for a charge move. I let this move go through. I can farm them down with my own lantern most likely, which is going to be the ideal play. I wonder what they're going to have in the back. It's going to be the Whiskash, which we can retaliate with our own Vigoroth, which is going to be able to go for our body slam. Gumbling up the shield from the opponent, we can shield up the Scald as well, which is going to definitely come through as the first move as they want to fish for that debuff. But here we can try try to reach another body slam in time. This is going to connect. This is going to be able to get the shield from the opponent. It's still going to be a very close game. I don't know who's going to be able to win this one. It's going to be a very, very tough one. Skull coming through again. I don't think they did get a single debuff here so far, so that's going to be great. We're going to be able to go for a body slam again, and this is going to connect to some decent damage as they can reach a mud bomb. So we have to hope that we can still get to a charge move now against the opponent. Can we go for the Skull in time? Or the Skull, the Surf in time? We cannot. They can go for their own charge move first. It's going to be the mud bomb and now we have to see if they're going to swap out they do not we can go for the surf now they're going to be knocked out by this but can we still win the mirror against the other lantern it's going to be very very close i can still reach the thunderbolt in time which is going to be able to connect it is going to be enough to knock them out it is going to be enough and we can win this game Next opponent, we're going to have the best lead possible. We're going to have a Manta in. They swap out into the Clot Sire. Usually want to stay in for a little bit and go for a Surf. Our backline is a little bit tricky for the Clot Sire. So um, here, Surf is going to be great. I swap out into my Vigoroth because all moves are resisted basically from our boss wall. Still, boss wall can be interesting because you're going to be able to resist also the Earthquake from the opponent. But Stone Age still does neutral damage, so... Not too sure if this is going to be the better play to go into the Vigoroth or not. But at least we can still reach another body slam very soon after. We still have to use a shield here. But it's going to be okay. We can align ourselves. Aligning is very important for this matchup. And it's guaranteed for us at this point because of the um, faster energy generation. Or not energy generation. But like getting to the moves a little bit faster with the Vigoroth compared to the Clod Slayer. They decide to use another shield here. Which is fine because we can use a shield as well. Which is going to allow us to just go for the full farm down. And so we can get a ton of energy now for the Mantine. Which is coming back in we can just go for the rock side spam and with this we can basically get rid of the hardest answer to the bus wall if they have in the back what i expect what they would have in the back which is most likely something like the own vigoroth we're going to have a great time here but we will see it's going to be a whiskash in the back and so we can align our bus wall we can try to go for a lunge to drop their own attack which is going to be great as they're forced to go for a shield against us as well then because it would do a ton of damage especially as, as they're going to be a shadow we just have to hope that we kind of can get them into range where the the surf is going to be enough from our lantern in order to knock them out. They can knock me out here. But actually, we can still even try to reach another body slam and we can get there in time, which is crucial as this is going to be able to connect, going to get them insanely low, low enough that we can spark them down and there's nothing they can do anymore. Next opponent, we're going to have an amazing lead here again with the Talonflame. It seems like Lantern is a great Pokemon to use right now on the lead, as we will see the Vigoroth coming in here, which we can retaliate immediately with our um, Buswell. We were very fast, so we can go for the Power Punch, and they use a Shield, which is fine for me. I can just go for the full farm down here, most likely, as they get to the next charge move a little bit 
faster than I do, so they're we're forced basically to go for the shield as well. But it's going to be okay, we can go for the lunge against the opponent's um, Talon Flame, which is going to allow us to drop their own attack, and I can align myself with my lantern anyway. So it really depends on if we can win against whatever they have in the back with our Vigoroth. So let's see what they're going to have here. We're going to see the Gust Lord, and basically, this is going to be a game over. Easy peasy, this game is going to be done with that one, as we can do super effective damage with counter and neutral damage with body slam the opponent decides to forfeit here. Horrible lead. Horrible lead with this Swampert coming in here, but we can swap into our Sayosaur of the Vigoroth. And this is going to be a neutral matchup. They can get to the Hydrocanes a little bit faster than we do. But we do more damage with our Fast Move, which is kind of great. But they decide to swap out anyway into the Vigoroth. Here going for the Rock Set, I think, is a little bit better in terms of the damage that you can do. But it is what it is. Body Sam is coming through. We can see them um, now having the matchup against the Lantern, which is going to be okay for us. We can just try to go ahead and go for the full farm down here, most likely. Because, you know, we're going to get aligned against the Swamp, but anyway, we need the energy. We are most likely forced to still go for a Surf here because full farm down is not possible at this point. But at least maybe we can reach another Surf against the opponent Swampert and have a little bit of an advantage with this. They might want to use a shield here, expecting that they're going to be weak against them in the back, but we still have our Buzz Will. Can we just sweep the opponent's team with Buzz Will? We have Power Punch. We can sweep their opponents with this move. So let's see here. They decide to go for the Hydro Cannon. I can go for the Power Punch early, trying to boost my own attack. Let's see what the opponent tries to do here they decide to go ahead and use a shield onto it which is going to be great because now we have a little bit of extra energy we are still one um damage up and we're gonna see as well that they're going to have these steelix in the back and so we can reach another power punch and look at the damage output of our boss will the, the opponent is still going to be able to get to another charge move here with the super effective psychic fangs it's going to get us low but not low enough as you can see here we can still reach another move and boss wall is just sweeping through the team with power punch it is so much fun to play this thing Next opponent, we're going to see here the Skarmory in the lead. Again, a great lead for us, which is something that we encountered quite often. And again, they swap out into their own Vigoroth, allowing me to reach the power punch immediately. Let's see if they're going to use a shield here as well. They decide not to do that, and maybe I can counter them down now in time before they can go for a second charge move as well, which would be great. As counter does more damage now, we will see that we can perfectly farm them down. And so they can definitely go back into their Skarmory, but still, we're going to do a ton of damage to them with the lunge as well, trying to drop their own attack so even if they're gonna go for a brave bit against our lantern it basically does no damage even though of course it's always resisted anyway so they're forced to swap out immediately and it's going to be the whimsicott and here this was maybe a little bit slow for me to swap out but this is what it is i'm deciding to use a shield here immediately it's still not going to be over this game it's still going to be a little bit closer but maybe we still have a chance here whimsicott is basically one of the pokemon that i don't want to face at all for this one but we can go for the body slam as well afterwards the opponent is going to decide to go for the grass knot totally fine for me body slam is coming through for me this is going to be able to get the shield from the opponent and so we can try to go for another body slam but they decide to go for their own charge move as well it's going to be a very close matchup the grass one is coming through we're both shieldless but at least i can connect this move and this means one surf is going to be all it takes to knock them out they decide to stay in for a little bit i can go for the surf and with this it's game over their only win con is gone with that and we can win this game really easily Next opponent, we're going to see Salazzle in the lead. Again, like, I had so many great leads for Lantern, which most likely also helped this team out a little bit. Here we see the swap out into the Sableye, and for whatever reason, in this game, I decided to not go ahead and go into my Vigoroth, but I decided to go into my Buzzwall, most likely because the lead was very, very bad for our Buzzwall, as, as Salazzle would just destroy us, basically. But here, Foul Play is going to get shielded. Maybe should have not used the shield then, but, like, Power Gem will have still done a ton of damage, and so I'd rather go ahead and go for the lunch, knock them out. They can get a ton of energy here, which is a little bit scary, but at least I can go for the drop of their own attack, allowing me to also line my lantern later on. We're going to get them fairly low, which is great, and honestly, Slazzles just take so much damage anyway. That we can go for a Thunderbolt against the opponent's Altaria. That's going to be amazing, especially if we drop them kind of low with it. This allows us to just go for the Body Slam spam. We don't really have to care about anything else. Body Slam spam is going to be what we want to do here. Moonblast comes through. Never mind, now it changes a lot because... 
the attack drop here now going to mean that the body slam is not going to be enough to really knock them out here and so i try to go for the full farm down and it doesn't work and just because the attack drop happened this is kind of annoying here but we have to deal with it we're going to be able to go for the farm down against the opponent in comes again the salazzle i have to call that this is going to be a bait here and it is a bait and this is going to be great because if they went for dragon pulse we would have went down like this we should hopefully be able to just go for the full farm down here and we can and so we can win this final game this team was a lot of fun to play if you have a boss will i would really recommend you to try this one out it's basically perfect in terms of the core between lantern as well as the boss will so definitely something that is very useful to play i hope you enjoyed this one if you did feel free to leave a like and i'll see you then bye bye